What's going on, family? I wanted to tap in with you to help you prepare for next week because we have to focus on the artificial intelligence computer chip stocks coming forward. We just made 70% on an NVIDIA call option that we are currently still in. And this is a computer chip company that's helping us to grow our money. And I know a lot of people want to make some extra income by learning how to trade. And this is why I'm teaching people the way by showing them how to fish and also showing them examples live on how to do it. We just got into a spy option as well which made us about 14%. Not everyone is gonna be 100%. That's not how trading really works, but you gotta make sure that you know how to be profitable and manage your risk. If you wanna get the buy alerts and be up on plays early like these, then go and join KG Stock Market University for the gift that's gonna be on Patreon. It's gonna be the best $14.99 you ever spent. And you're gonna get the buy alerts of where I buy it, where I put my stop loss, when I win, when I lose, the whole nine yards, family. And we've been killing it, especially in this month. I see you over there. The link is in the top of the description. But we gotta revisit AMD Advanced Micro Devices, which like I told you before, it used to be $213, family. But now it's come down, not all the way to where it was at 122, but it's come down to about 150, which is in the buy zone for me. I can't tell you what to buy, hold, or sell, but I can show you the way in terms of how to manage your risk so you can have some upside when these things start to run. Now. There's hype on the internet about how AMD could be a trillion dollar stock. So first of all, a trillion dollar stock, this stock is $150. I know what they mean though. They mean a trillion dollar market cap. Now the market cap is when you add up all of the stocks together and you look, okay, what is this whole company worth? So when you look at AMD, they're worth $250 billion as a company. So if they went to a trillion dollars, then this $150 stock, that's gonna go up equally in proportion. What does that mean? The 250 times four, that's gonna get us to a trillion like they say, right? But that means the 150 stock, they're saying that could go to 600, but not overnight, over time. And it doesn't mean that it will, but it means if the artificial intelligence demand stays high like it already is, then we're gonna very likely see how we can get these stock prices up all the way over there so we can make some money on it. However, I don't want you to be a crash test dummy who just jump into a moving vehicle with no plan and then crash out at the end. What I want you to do is say, okay, where would I buy this? Where would I wait? And where would I put a stop loss and have a full plan? Like I told you, proper preparation prevents poor performance. So let's look at some more of what's going on with AMD advanced micro devices. And Yahoo Finance just posted an article saying that AMD is about to have a leapfrog moment, AKA skip ahead of the line and really knock it out of the park with some of the things they got going on business-wise. And they're even dubbing this a once in a lifetime opportunity to buy a stock. So let's think about what they're talking about and who are they gonna leapfrog, for example. So they are not gonna leapfrog Nvidia. Nvidia has 80% of the chip market. Remember, Nvidia, AMD, these companies are selling microchips. They're called GPUs, for example. There's other things they're doing as well, but they're selling these computer chips that are in all of your devices, your phones, TVs, and now they're using them for artificial intelligence. You may have heard of chat GPT. You may have seen meta AI or things like that on Facebook. You may have seen them on Instagram. And you know how there's algorithms that are sending you all kind of information. I'm talking about when you be talking near your phone and you might've said dog food. And now you're getting all these commercials about dog food all of a sudden, or you might've said, oh, a baby. Now you're getting baby products and wipes and stuff. So AI is listening to you. And even nowadays, I don't know if you ever noticed this, but in YouTube, if you start to look at the comments while you're watching the video and you didn't click on the whole comment section yet, the comments will kind of change and be in line sometimes with what the content creator is talking about. So if somebody says dog in the comment and I'm saying dog in the video, it'll like link them up to try to show you. So what's going on with that? The artificial intelligence chips are processing this information extremely fast to try to help you to stay on the website and help you to stay engaged so that these big companies can make money. So when we think about these big companies making money and using artificial intelligence to do it, who are these big companies and what are they saying that we should do? They're saying that we should monitor the press releases among the major AI developers like Microsoft, like Amazon, like Alphabet, like Oracle, and see if they got new partnerships with AMD because that's gonna be the catalyst that pushes AMD closer to that $600 level. But remember, 
it ain't just going to 600 tomorrow. You might watch this video in a year and it's still like $200 or something like that. You could get a recession even, so it could be even lower. So that's why I said you don't want to be a crash test dummy, but you want to pay attention to what could make something go up. What are one of the big institutions or even companies that has a partnership already with AMD? Microsoft, they're not really there yet. Amazon, they're not really there yet, but Apple is already doing it and they've been doing it for about at least a year that they disclosed publicly. So AMD is partnering with Apple and Apple partners with Intel for CPUs, which is a different kind of computer chip. And they partner with AMD for GPUs, right? So those are the graphics ones. So when we start to get these artificial intelligence phones, that's gonna come out with Apple, allegedly the Apple iPhone 16 and the 16 Pro Max and all of that is supposed to be the heavy artificial intelligence Apple phone. They supposed to be partnering with AMD with a lot of that. So we wanna see if Microsoft is trying to jump on board after they see Apple do it, if Amazon trying to jump on board after they see Apple do it. And let's look at what's going on with AMD even this day. So AMD is the third hottest stock on the stock market. Think about all of the thousands of stocks and this one is the most heavily traded, well, at least number three. Nvidia is number one, mm, another computer chip company, right? Tesla is number two. Tesla is working with the robo taxis. And you know what? That's gonna use those GPUs, those computer chips, those CPUs to help them with their artificial intelligence so the cars can navigate on the road effectively without mowing people down on the sidewalks. So we thinking to ourselves, hmm, the top three stocks right now that are trading are related to artificial intelligence and their potential. Remember, we could end up being in a bubble. So I want you to think I'm just overhyping artificial intelligence. You always got to have your risk management. That's what a lot of new investors just forget about. They always think about what they could make, but they never think about what they could lose. So you got to think risk versus reward. That's how you are a real risk manager. And how you're going to really make some money on this market or give it all up and give it all back to Wall Street because they expect you to be behind the eight ball. They expect you to be late to the party. They expect you to be slow to the show. So we got to say, you know what? I'm willing to risk X, Y, Z, but I ain't willing to throw everything at this at a YOLO. You only live once, hope this works out. We don't trade like that, family. We gotta make this money. So we gotta learn, but then we take the L off of that so we can earn. So let's get to the price targets on AMD. The first one, Citibank said they see it going to 200. Remember, if these interest rates come down from the Federal Reserve, and many things happen that the market doesn't like, these price targets aren't gonna happen. They're not written in stone, but these are what the institutions are telling us, AKA they're telling us that they're betting with it and not against it. That's the main power of a price target. So City says it's going to 210. Craig Hallam says it's going to 200. Stifle says it's going to 200. And Piper Sandler says it's going to 175. All of those are higher significantly than it is right now, telling us again that they're betting with it for the year going forward. They often bet with these companies because they are buying the stock. So if they betting against it, they might tell you to sell it, right? Cause they're trying to put some fear in your heart. But with this, they're telling you they're buying it and they're trying to get it to go up to 200, even if it don't, but we know it's already been there. So now let's get to the Trident. I would wait, and for those of you who are uninitiated and new, first of all, yo, hit the like button for your boy. It does more than you would even believe. It helps the message to get out and it helps to show that you support. And it's free 99, baby. So show your boy some love. Now, the Trident is where I will wait, where I will buy and where I'll put a stop loss. So it's the plan on how to manage your risk and how to get in at a good price, at least for me. I can't tell you what to buy, hold, or sell. So I will wait if I seen it at 165 or 170. And this is just for this week. I will buy it preferably at 150 flat. The max I'm willing to buy it for this week is 164. And then I'll put a stop loss on 147. So if I bought it at 150, which I would want to do, and I really loaded it up, and then it came down to 147, I lost $3 per each share that I bought which, you know, I could take that hit, it's okay. It's not that crazy. It's not like watching it go from 150 all the way down to 100, all the way down to $50. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying you got a plan. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Those are the five Ps. Now, why are we looking at AMD? AMD is a profitable company and we're getting in some choppy, undefined times. And when you get markets like that, you want to look for profitable companies. And AMD has been killing it with their earnings and they've actually been getting more and more and their next earnings are expected to be higher than the last four or five earnings. So the demand for AI has been up and profitable companies can withstand recessions oftentimes. If you're not profitable and you already burning through money and then you get a recession and now less money is coming in, family, that's bad for a lot of companies. Companies that are profitable, that are killing it and increasing the profit 
are the ones that often are long standing. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I got you with the next stop coming up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see what else we're looking at. Because I got a real banger for you in the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.